Welcome to Money Veterans, I'm Monica, and this is your weekly strategic update where we cut through the noise and focus on what really moves the markets. Less noise, more strategy. Chapter 1, Markets in Motion. The beginning of the week, 10th of November, brought a more constructive tone, partly due to reassuring news around the U.S. government shutdown. The U.S. Senate advanced a temporary funding bill to reopen the federal government, reducing some short-term uncertainty. Global equity markets in the U.S., Europe, and Asia generally reacted with modest gains. Midweek, sentiment shifted as a correction developed on Wednesday and intensified on Thursday. The technology segment was particularly discussed by analysts who highlighted ongoing reassessments of valuations across large-cap and AI-related companies. On the crypto side, Bitcoin initially reflected the early week optimism, but later experienced fluctuations. Some commentators noted that it moved near levels that are frequently referenced in market analysis, though interpretations vary widely. A brief milestone. The Bitcoin white paper was released 17 years ago, marking an important date often mentioned within the crypto community. Chapter 2 Portfolio Thinking Hello, I'm Edward. In this segment, we explore how professionals conceptually analyze environments like the current one, always from an educational standpoint. 1. Fundamentals and Macro Signals The week's rebound was described by some observers as technical. A more durable view, in academic settings, often depends on indicators such as consumption, employment, corporate earnings, and inflation data. 2. Portfolio Theory a conceptual perspective. In portfolio theory, different environments are used to illustrate how exposure considerations may be discussed in an academic or institutional context. These discussions depend on each institution's mandate, constraints, risk parameters, and investment horizon. There is no universal approach, and this is not a suggestion to modify any personal portfolio. 3. Diversification and Stabilizers In educational frameworks, assets such as bonds, Cash equivalents, or precious metals, are sometimes presented as potential diversifiers when uncertainty is elevated. 4. Strategic Themes to Monitor The resolution process around the government funding situation remains a point of attention. Some analysts also observe rotations within equity markets, for example between large growth names and more cyclical or quality-oriented segments. But these observations vary across research sources. AI continues to be discussed as a long-term theme, with increasing focus on profitability and earnings contribution. Remaining points of attention. 1. Shutdown effects. Some temporary disruptions remain possible, such as delays in certain data releases. 2. Valuation considerations in tech and AI. Analysts have highlighted that recent movements have opened discussions on whether earnings trajectories match previous expectations. 3. Interest rate environment. Market participants continue to examine central bank communication, especially regarding expectations for potential rate adjustments. This entire chapter is for general educational illustration only and does not provide financial advice or portfolio recommendations. Chapter 3. Ideas and Themes, Multi-Factor Analysis Today, we revisit a major concept used in modern finance, Multi-Factor Analysis, a framework that examines the characteristics behind price movements. Many investors identify as stock pickers or allocators, but academic research shows that part of performance can be associated with structural factors. The factors generally discussed are momentum, value, quality, high dividend, low volatility, and size. Several of you asked for an example using HDFC Bank, following our earlier conversation about Michael Porter's framework. We'll use HDFC Bank today purely as an educational illustration, not a signal to buy, hold, or sell any security. Important clarification. We do not have any relationship with HDFC Bank, nor do we receive compensation. 
All information here is based on publicly accessible data and general academic frameworks. Factor illustrations 1. Momentum Conceptual view Public data and analyst commentary show that HDFC Bank has been part of various discussions related to relative performance trends. Momentum investors typically compare performance across rolling periods or relative to sector benchmarks. Here, the bank simply serves as an example of how these concepts are applied. LI2, value and quality, conceptual illustration, company reports and market data providers publish metrics such as valuation ratios, profitability indicators, asset quality measures, and cost structures. These metrics are commonly referenced when discussing value and quality factors in academic and professional literature. We use them here only to illustrate how these frameworks operate. 3. Volatility, Size and Dividend Educational Example Large financial institutions like HDFC Bank are often studied through additional factors such as historical volatility characteristics, scale and dividend policies. These elements help show how diversified factor frameworks can be structured. Again, this is purely conceptual. Combining factors. The money veterans approach. Instead of scoring or rating, which we deliberately avoid, we use a qualitative matrix to help illustrate how factor tendencies interact. For educational purposes, HDFC Bank is often described in research literature as combining elements of quality and momentum depending on the methodology and the period studied. This is a conceptual interpretation only, not a model output and not an evaluation of the company. Factor Verdict HDFC Bank is frequently mentioned in analyst discussions as a large Indian financial institution with characteristics that analysts sometimes associate with quality and momentum. We use it here strictly to demonstrate how multi-factor frameworks can be applied. I'm Maya and this is Money Veterans. Less noise, more strategy. Final takeaway. 1. The shutdown situation is progressing, but some temporary effects remain visible. 2. Tech and AI valuations continue to generate debate among market participants. 3. Several market observers note ongoing rotations, something many professionals keep an eye on. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to like, comment and subscribe and let us know which stock or theme you'd like us to illustrate next. See you soon.